G'day and welcome to another episode of Built by Dan and yet another episode in the GT40 kit build series. In today's episode, I'm going to continue working on the roof spider, trimming the inside of that panel so that I can get it mounted and then be able to remove that roll bar so that I can go and get it powder coated. All right, so I'll start off by running through what my approach is going to be to this step of the build process. I have the roof spider sitting here on the chassis. It's not sitting in position, it's sitting back probably almost 100 mil, so four inches from where it needs to sit. I have a plastic packer underneath it just to replicate the thickness of the, the side sill body panel and just a, a standard sort of packer for body panel gap. You can see on top here, there's a hole in there that actually needs to align with that. That sort of dictates the offset that we're working with at the moment. And I then have the temporary screws that came with the kit when it was delivered. And that allows me to mount the front of the spider into position that was set by the factory. If I come through to the back here and have a look under the spider, I have just put some paper tape, so like a masking tape, but just a wider roll, and installed that on the inside because the gloss black panel was really hard to mark up and be able to see what I need to cut. That's basically just so that I can use a pen or a lead pencil and mark the extent of where I need to trim the inside panel. If we have a look from the front, you can see here where the corner of the roll bar protrudes up higher than the lip on the, the spider. So essentially this roll bar needs to sit inside this section, but because it's got a flat panel underneath, that needs to be trimmed to allow the roll bar to pop through. It's pretty hard to show it on camera, but you can sort of see as we get down here, we've got a little bit of an air gap, which means we won't have to trim the full length of the spider panel. It'll really just be, you can sort of see here where the light disappears slightly from about this point around to here. So what I'm gonna do is, I didn't wanna leave it sitting like this, but I'm going to lift the spider to sit up on top of the roll bar so that I can get an alignment of roughly where it needs to sit for my cuts. And I'm just gonna start trimming from this corner section and then just slowly extend to each side until I get the right sort of fitment. There's gonna be a lot of taking the spider on and off and test fitting and trimming a little bit more, but I'd rather do that than just try and hit it all in one go and end up taking too much material out. At the end of the day, I'd keep, like to keep as much material in as possible uh, just to sort of maintain that structural integrity of that roof panel. So I'm gonna lift that spider up. I'm gonna bolt it in at the front to get my alignment right. And then I'm going to sit it up on top of the, the roll bar. It's gonna sit quite high, but I'll use my pencil to, to mark the alignment. I can then take that off and look at starting to trim that down. I thought I'd just give you a quick look at how that is looking now that I've got a couple of the temporary screws put in just to hold the front of the spider in place. Gives me a pretty good alignment. You can see here, we almost have an alignment between this, the two holes here. Um, keeping in mind that it is sort of slightly raised at the back and as it comes down, it'll swing back in forward. So, I'm quite comfortable with how that's sitting. See down the bottom here, there's obviously a fair gap now between that spacer or the packer and the spider because it is sitting up on top of the roll bar here. So with it sitting in place like this, I'm just gonna go run along and mark a line here just to give me the alignment of that roll bar and I'll start by trimming a thin 
um, section in the middle and I can then adjust that either backwards further or forwards further to suit as that spider starts to swing back down uh, to where it needs to sit. Okay, so we've now done two lots of trimming. And as you can see, the cuts are getting pretty close to those original lines that I drew. It is starting to sit down a little bit. Just for a point of reference, we've gone from about a 20 millimeter gap to about a 10 millimeter gap on this side. The other side hasn't dropped as much, but I think I've been a bit more conservative with what I've cut out of that section as well. So you can see there my, the black texture lines. I think this time I'm just gonna go all the way to the lines on both sides. At the back, I'm starting to get close to this little return lip. So I can't really trim too much more of that internal panel, but what I might do is try and sort of shave it back on a bit of an angle, like a 45 degree angle, just to give a little bit more clearance for the curve of the roll bar. So I'll go do that and then we'll check back in after that adjustment's been made. So after trimming it for a third time, we are getting extremely close. I've just marked with my lead pencil a few areas where I want to trim a bit more material out, but you can see it's definitely starting to come along. This rear side has enough clearance. The other side needs a little bit more. Again, just made a few additional marks, trim a bit more material out. It's only taking a couple of millimeters, but once I'm comfortable that I've got the clearance I need to fit the spider on properly, I'll probably then just go over and take a little bit more off all the way around just to give it a little bit of clearance and a little bit of room to play. So trim number four is now complete. I just thought I'd show you what it looks like before I actually sit it back over the roll bar. So you can see it's a fair bit of material that's been taken out. I've had to extend beyond where I thought I originally needed it. Just as I start to trim it and it settles down over the bar, uh, it looks like I'm, I may even need to bring it a bit further. We'll see how I go once I fit it back on, but this is the other side. Probably taking a little bit more material out on this one. It just depends on how it looked on the roll bar. So it's not nicely finished yet. I've tried to trim it up and keep it neat as I go, but I'll get a, um, a bit of sandpaper onto that once I'm comfortable and happy with the spacing that I've got from the roll bar and we'll clean it up. All right, I think we're up to take number five. It is so close. I've taken some of the stickers off. So, so close, but not quite there. I'm pretty much done for today. I'm exhausted, hot and sweaty tired so I'm gonna call it for today I'm going to just put some fresh tape around where I've trimmed so I can make some fresh marks tomorrow and then I'll get back to hopefully what will be the last attempt to trim this to get it to sit right Everything's looking really good around these corners, which I thought was going to be the difficult bit and that I was going to keep coming back to. It actually seems to be in this central portion. I've just clearanced the top of it, but I think it's going to need a little bit more and maybe just, you know, a little bit either side of the bar where I might not have kept uh, my lines consistent. 
So I'll mark that up. I might do that tonight and then tomorrow I'll do the final trim, hopefully, and be able to put the spider together. All right, so it's actually the next weekend now. I didn't end up getting back to finishing off the spider last weekend. I just needed a break before heading back to work on Monday. So I've put the fresh tape on. You can see here I've got new lines along where I want to trim a little bit more. It's generally to the front. The back's all pretty good. Just a few sections to trim out um, for where some of the other brackets attach uh, just a little bit from the end here pretty happy with it all I have just trimmed the ridge off this section but there's still a little bit of meat left there to try and give it some sort of strength between this outside piece and the um, the inside skin so I'll trim that back I'm not going to say it again but I really do hope this is the last time Okay, so I knew I jinxed myself when I said hopefully this will be the last time. It's taken me another three attempts, but I'm now happy with how it's sitting. It seems to just sit naturally without it sort of being flexed in any particular direction when the spider's placed over the roll bar. And that's exactly what I was hoping to achieve without having to take too much material or any more than I needed to really. So it's a bit hard to see under there, but the roll bar is just sitting up underneath or up inside that inner skin. And when I come to the sides here, they've dropped considerably and I've just got a couple of packers to replicate the thickness of the side sill and, and body spacer packer. What I want to do now is actually just go and grab my side sills and install them just to make sure that it does all fit up nicely. And then I can probably call it a day for the spider install. So there we have it. It is starting to look like a car. Gee, it's good when you can finally get some panels onto it and it's not just a bare chassis. So the spider's sitting quite well in relation to the side skirts or the side sill panels. I might just trim a little bit more off this side here. Um, I'd just like it to have a little bit more clearance It just feels like it's flexing the fiberglass a little bit, uh, like the roll bar or the, the cutout for the roll bar is sort of dictating where the spider can sit. And then I'm sort of having to stretch it back to align the temporary fixing points, which I'm using as my guide to know if it's sitting where it should be. But everything lines up fairly well. We've got all the body gaps now. Again, just using the, the temporary fixing points that they did in the factory. So the front clip uh, was obviously not connected when it was shipped. It just made it that little bit longer. So it was sitting up on top. So this is the first time I've actually seen it with the front clip on the side skirts and the spider. I think I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, the next step will be to look at the rear bulkhead panel that has the window in it. I think the aluminum, sheet aluminium panel will need to be trimmed a little bit just to fit in around the top corners. And the, another slot needs to be cut in the top of the, um, or the inside skin of the spider so that it can extend up into that sort of air gap between the two. So that's what I'm going to look to tackle next. I just have a sore back and sore legs and I think I've had enough for today. I need to come back feeling refreshed and uh, decide how I'm going to tackle that next step. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed the first half of this episode in trimming the roof spider. 
uh, to fit over the roll bar and the rear bulkhead panel. I've been a bit unwell and just haven't had the motivation or energy to get down here and progress this. So today I'm going to move all of this outside, but I've basically marked up here a line that I need to follow all the way along this center section. Uh, kind of makes me wonder why they even bother extending this inside roof panel all the way through given you have to cut so much of it out to, for it to clear the roll bar. And now that I'm going to put another cut along here, it's basically going to render this whole section useless. I'll just have to cut the whole lot out. Um, but at least then the, the bulkhead panel will extend to this outside panel underneath and I'll be able to seal that nicely so the engine bay is sealed off from the cab. I'll see how I go. I've got just a standard one mil cutoff wheel. Uh, the bulkhead panel is four millimeters, so it's going to need a bit more than just a single cut, but I'll get this initial cut along this line and then look to sit the spider back over the, the chassis and see how it all goes. So this is how the spider now looks after that first section has been trimmed. You can see there, it's probably about half an inch away from the actual um, head wall piece, the aluminium panel. I'm hoping that when the top comes down, it'll sort of rotate, or it'll push back as it sort of rotates down, because um, I have got it bolted in with the temporary fixings at the front. So now what I'm going to do is just really carefully start trimming back the sides. I'm only going to go to the extent of the existing roll bar cutout for now, just so I can start to get this top section sitting down over the panel. I'm just going to take smaller sections. Um, I'm starting to wonder how I got that location, but it could have been because I, when I did that markup, I didn't actually have the this headboard in and I'd sort of gauging its offset um, with the spider sitting right down in its final location. Could still be cut right. I hope it's still cut right. If not, I've got a nice big gap there I can fill with some silicon, maybe even something that's fireproof so that uh, it really does separate the cab from the engine bay. I'm going to start taking about 5 to 10 mil off the sides now and I'm just going to slowly trim them back until I start to see what's happening with this spider as it settles down into its final location. There is still a little bit to go. It's probably about, I don't know, inch and a half, pushing two inches um, here for the, the rear of the spider still to settle down. So hopefully as I start trimming back those side sections, um, It'll start getting closer to the sill and this gap here will start to close at the top. Okay, checking back in now after that next extent of panel that's been trimmed. So as you can see now, that top corner of the aluminium headwall panel is sitting in side that spider panel. And as I was hoping, we've definitely closed this gap here as well. I think it will close up nicely once we get it all the way down. You can see we've still got a little way to go. I think what I'm going to do is rather than sort of get too excited and try and come all the way down to the end of the panel, I'm going to give probably an extra five mil clearance along this section that I've just done and then look at, to see where it sits before I cut too much further down. My original thought was that this head wall panel would essentially sit in behind this vertical section of the spider. So this vertical section and just sit in flush behind there. But I think it's actually going to start to sort of sit in a bit more as we sort of come down lower on the sides. So it's a little bit by little bit. The other thing which is really hard to show even from the other side is that the top corner of this bulkhead panel sitting up here is touching the inside of the outer skin. So I need to, one, trim the spider a bit more, but two, start to shave down that corner so that we've got more clearance for the spider to come down lower. Plenty of clearance in the middle, but the two corners are currently holding us up. Um, we'll obviously note here that we're sort of getting to the limit 
as to how much more we can lower this spider down even trimming this top section because I'm starting to hit at this corner as well now. Uh, but I still just want to take it little bit by little bit. I don't want to take too much because I've already scared myself with that top cut and the gap that it's left, but it looks like it's panning out um, to almost have been the right decision. <laughs> we'll see how we go. All right, so this is how the spider is currently looking. You can see there's quite a bit of fiberglass missing from that internal panel. I was concerned that this would become quite flimsy when I took out all this material, even just for the bit that I took out for the roll bar. But hopefully you can see here, they've actually built it up on the inside there. So this uh, internal panel or the inside spider roof panel is actually bonded to the outside panel back here. So it still keeps it nice and sturdy which I'm really happy about. And that's what's given me the confidence to keep cutting material out. So this is where I'm at. We're getting pretty close to uh, the, the door sill um, where I sort of anticipated I'd roughly be aiming for, but we are starting to come in a little bit now from here. So I'm going to go and trim the aluminium panel and then we'll go for another test fit. So before I trim the aluminium panel, you can see here, I just put a texture mark, a marking around the inside of where the spider was sitting. Obviously it needs to come down lower than that, but that's, that was its current position. Just to give me a bit of a guide as to how much material I actually look to take off this corner. So I've sort of taken say a centimeter, half an inch from the corner in. And I'm just gonna cut it on an angle just to try and create a bit more of a curved shape to give me some clearance and I've done the same on the other side there. So I'll trim that and then we're ready to test fit the spider again and see what more there is to do to try and get it to fit. All right, we're definitely getting somewhere now. You can see that gap really closing up at the top. Very happy with that. Next step will be to trim these side panels down a little bit more. I've sort of just drawn a line just by running a flat carpenter's pencil along that panel. Uh, hopefully you can see that, but there's a very faint line. It's probably about five millimeters in front of the panel, but as the spider comes down, it'll fall back a little bit. So hopefully again, we'll close the gap, same as what we've managed to achieve up top. The other thing is we are already maxing out after the cut that I made to the head wall. So that's how much I trimmed off that corner. I'll see if I can get a torch up in here. If we can see just there, you can see that top corner is already maxed out again. So we'll have to trim that back a little bit more. It appears on the other side we're well clear, which is great. So for now, it's just trimming a little bit more off that top corner on both sides. And hopefully, we'll be able to get it to sit down. Hasn't really changed much in terms of the height off the sill. Um, I guess that's probably just, it's still getting stuck on these lower corners. So it's not actually lowering too much further. So we'll make these cuts now down to this extent and hopefully we'll be able to drop that spider down so that it sits flush on those sills. Okay, we are getting very close now. I've done one more trim since I last checked in. You can see here on the inside, everything is starting to fit nice and snug, exactly how I had hoped. Uh, there's obviously some thought that I put into it a couple of weeks ago when I marked out that line. As you can see, it's looking really good. The only thing holding me back at the moment is I still need to trim more off this panel and it's actually quite a bit. It's sort of from back here over to about this point here. So from there to there, and it just sort of needs to be shaved off just as the roof sort of tapers down. 
Once that's sorted, I'll be able to drop this down and it'll be sitting on the sill. So I'm going to still tread carefully. I'm probably going to take about five millimeters off in that top corner. I've marked it on the back just with a permanent marker as best as I can behind the roll bar, but really happy with how that's sitting at the moment. And like I say, once I trim that aluminum panel a little bit, it'll allow that roof to drop down a little bit more. And then we should be able to bolt everything up to the sill. Once I've trimmed that bulkhead panel, I'll check back in and fingers crossed, it'll be the last time. All right, there it is. It took me a couple more goes and I had to trim both the spider and the bulkhead panel, but it's now fitted off. I've put some of the temporary self-tapping fittings in the front and as well as at the rear here, just to hold all that in place temporarily, make sure it all fits together nicely. As you can see, it does. Really happy with the way it's come out. Took a lot of stuffing around, pulling everything in, out, in, out. I've lost count of how many times. You can see there, that cut for the top, along the top there, is the original cut. It all came into line perfectly, so really happy. Whatever I did there a couple of weeks ago, it was the right thing to do. Obviously gave it some thought. So really happy with that. I now have what looks like a complete cab, so to speak. And with the spider now in position, I can start looking at my dash panel, which will also need some fiberglass trimming so it can clear the pillars just on the, in, on the base here. From the back, the roll bar sits up nice and snug. I've just realized one thing that I still haven't done is to core a hole through here for the seat belt. Obviously the retractor bracket sits down here and then there's the, the main sort of swivel for the shoulder up the top there. So I think I'll pick that up in a future episode just as a little odd job that I'll tack on to one of the other episodes. As I mentioned in the last video, I have some goodies. I will be unboxing all of that in the next episode. And then I think once I've sort of got the engine unboxed, I think there's probably still a few more parts that I'll need before I can bolt it all together and do a test fit in the engine bay. But I might then just move on to the dash panel, getting that trimmed so it fits and maybe even getting those gauges mounted. So stay tuned for the next episode. The GT40 is really coming along now.